also made a transition over the last couple of years. We, we also realized that perhaps um, entrepreneurship in, in India or in this sector for that matter is, um, is, is a little bit more supply driven. Um, you know, here is a solution, here's an enterprise and let's set up multiple businesses around it. And we expect people to set up those businesses and also perform. And of course, you know, the survival rates or the sustainability of those enterprises are to come to question. And we had been observing that for, for a long time. And we realized that there is a need for deep listening. Uh, deep listening that enables us to understand what are the aspirations. India is changing so much. You know, a, a young person who's living in a village in Mirzapur or in Nivari district doesn't necessarily, could be a farmer's son, doesn't necessarily want to set up that business. Or a woman doesn't necessarily have to set up a tailoring business or a beauty parlor business because that's what we think women can do, right? And once we started listening, we realized that all the innovations, all, all the ideas actually start coming from entrepreneurs themselves. In fact, this, um, uh, this uh, e-rickshaw, e uh, the, the network, the, the, the enterprises emerged because in, in, in a brave, what we do is we, with women, we create brave spaces where we're able to listen. And listening doesn't necessarily mean you sit down with someone and actually start writing what you're listening to. There are many, many different ways of listening. Like, for example, just observing, just being a fly on the wall. Or we do these comic workshops with women where they sort of draw out what livelihoods or enterprise or entrepreneurship means for them. And this woman started drawing out that when she was 13 years old, she wanted to, um, you know, uh, ride a motorbike. And she always wanted to do that. And, and that's why she chose mobility as, a, as her enterprise, because that aspiration was deep inside. Yet, you know, over the years, over the course of years, she realized that mobility is a challenge. But then she realized that maybe she could solve the challenge herself. So that's what deep listening enables us to do that.